Welcome back to our build series. Today we're going to be installing the X and Y end stops, the belts, and the extruder. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this bolt so that I can install the X axis end stop flag. And I just push the bolt up out of the way and put the flag in and then secure the flag with the bolt, tighten everything back up. And we already have the X axis optical end stop in place. Then we're going to loosen the X axis rod, the one on the top. We're going to push it out a little bit so that we can get our Y end stop flag in place. And so we'll just slide that in place over the rod. And then we'll push the rod back in place and tighten everything back up. We're going to leave the flag a little bit loose so that we can get its final position later. So this is the optical end stop for the Y axis. This has been modified from the original kit. So you can see that there's a zip tie slot, so for your wires, routing your wires, you can put a little tiny zip tie through there, tighten everything up, and the whole thing is mounted to the 3030. Extrusion at the very top with one uh, bolt and T-nut. Then we want to make sure that our flag lines up with the end stop. So move the axis, the axis through the end stop and then tighten the flag up in place and then make sure that it clears. Next step we're going to put in the belts. So take off your breakout and you want to route the belt smooth side facing forward, the side with the teeth facing towards the back. Zip tie into place. You want the belt to overlap itself so that it locks into place. I like to take a pair of needle nose pliers and really give it that little extra tug to make sure it's tight. And then I clip the end with flush cutters to make sure that it's nice and smooth. So now we're going to take the belt and route it through the idler in the carriage and make sure you pull out all the slack and there's no twists. Then through the idler in the back, this would be the back left and then to the back right. Make sure you pull out all the slack at each step. Then we're going to put the belt through this little slot in the carriage. And then it goes all the way up to the front of the printer, around the pulley, on the stepper and then back through the carriage around the smooth idler. The smooth side of the belt should be touching the smooth idler and then over to the X axis. And now we'll do the top belt. So I've already got it zip tied into place. We're going to put it around the smooth idler on the left side. Pull out all the slack then it goes around the left stepper, then through the slot in the carriage, around the left, the back left idler, then the back right idler, and then over to the x-axis carriage. So now we're going to clamp our belts into place. This is the belt clamp that I'm taking apart right now. You take that completely off, then take your belts and route them through the two little slots. Then you can put your belt clamp back on and get that bolt threaded just a little bit just so it's hanging on and this is going to help you tension your belts so you can grab your belts with needle nose pliers and pull on them I like to pluck the strings to see how much they vibrate and it's just a feel that you get you don't want them too tight because you don't want them too loose it kind of vibrates like a bass string and then once you feel like you've got them tightened up, you can tighten that bolt all the way down. And 
then just snap back on your breakout board. Now we're going to put the extruder together. You'll need the extruder mount. You'll need the stepper motor with the hob gear with the uh, grub screw tightened down on both sides. Just like this. Make sure one of the grub screws is on the flat. And we'll put the extruder, I mean the extruder stepper through the mount. Then we'll take the extruder body that comes in the kit. And I believe this is an M6 socket head cap screw. And it's gonna go all the way through the body to the 3D print and to the stepper. Now we need this lever arm. I like to put the put a washer on the back side. Then you have a spring and another cap screw. And you'll need to loosen this screw. And then it just fits right up between the two. The screw from the top keeps the socket head cap screw from moving around. That's the finished extruder assembly. Then you can just mount a few bolts to the top and mount it on your frame. Sure. All made up, ready to go. I'm going to put it on the crossbar support. That gives us a nice firm mount. If you want, you can put two more screws in the bottom side. And just to show that the carriage does not interfere with the extruder. We can also mount the spool holder on the same crossbar.